Hola amigos, bienvenidos a el canal de español con la señora Pérez. Today we're going to be looking at los números. Before we begin with the numbers, let's go ahead and explore the differences between los números cardinales and ordinales. Los números cardinales represent a certain quantity or size. They can be used to express time, age, date, or weight. And they're usually listed as one, two, three, four, so on and so on. On the other hand, los números ordinales express numbers in order or in sequence and can be used to organize a speech or the steps of a recipe. And they will be listed as first, second, third, so on and so forth. So let's begin with los números uno al diez, cardinales. Repeat after me. Cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Now let's do los números. 11 al 20. Cardinales. Repeat after me. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. I don't know if you noticed, but numbers between 16 and 19, you hear the word 10, and then you hear the number following it. Hmm, there's a pattern there. This is what I was talking about. So you first hear 10, and then you hear E, and then you hear the following number, and then you end up with the numbers 16 through 19. Don't worry, I'm about to show you how it works. Let's say we have the number 17, and this is how it breaks down. You have 10, y 7, 10, and 7, and that gives you 17. The letter Y changes to I and change the Z in 10 for a C. 17. Now this can be done with any number greater than 16. You can count all the way to a thousand as long as you follow this pattern. I'm about to show you how we do that now. But first, we do need to learn how to count by tens with the numeros 0 al 100. We're going to count by tens, okay? Repeat after me. Cero, diez, veinte, treinta, cuarenta, cincuenta, sesenta, setenta, ochenta, noventa, cien. Now let me show you how you can do that little math equation and count all the way from zero to a hundred, super easy with only knowing the numbers from zero to 20. This is the example we're going to use. So we have the number 40 e, and then we're going to come up with a number and then we're going to get our end result. All right, hold on tight. Here we go. So we've added the number ocho, cuarenta y ocho, what does that give me? Cuarenta y ocho. Remember, we change the letter Y, which stands for and in Spanish, E, and we change it to the I, cuarenta y ocho, forty and eight. 
Don't worry, I'm going to give you some time to practice this. But first, let's go over Números Ordinales. Remember, these are the ones that are in sequence. For example, first, second, third. Repeat after me. Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, octavo, noveno, décimo. Of course, these numeros ordinales go higher, but a typical native speaker will stop at 10th place. And after that, they'll just use the cardinal numbers. Okay, amigos, now it's time to practice that math equation where we count from 0 to 100. All right? I'm going to give you some numbers. I want you to pause the video and then write out your answers, and then we'll check them. Let's go. All righty. I have given you five different numbers. If you need to go back and look at the math equation, please go ahead and do so. Pause the video. All right, let's check our answers. 29. 63. 95. 77. Now, leave your answer in the comment box for number 124. Bueno amigos, we have reached the end of this video. Remember to click the thumbs up if you like this video, hit subscribe button, and follow me now on Instagram. Gracias. Hasta la próxima.